Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. This is a simple schematic of how most protein therapeutics are produced and purified using mammalian cell culture as the protein production engine. Our focus today is optimizing cell culture. There are many factors that must be considered to do just that, and one of those is through the use of chemically defined media. This is a brief overview of the cell culture process, highlighting the three inputs that define and impact performance. Here we are going to focus on the role of the culture media. As part of media development, often the basal media is modified and optimized as the manufacturing process is developed in order to achieve high cell density or biomass, cell viability, productivity, and product quality. Cell culture media provides basic nutrients for energy to make cell mass and must be balanced for proper salt concentration or osmolality. Often during process development, the basal medium is insufficient to obtain proper cell mass, so supplements are added. Supplements promote cell growth by providing key components for specific signaling pathways and special nutritional needs, such as the delivery of cholesterol. As seen here, there are two types of media used during production, requiring different concentrations of media components. The growth media is designed to increase biomass during the cell expansion phase. Throughout production, the cells utilize nutrients, and these must be replenished by feeding new media into the bioreactor to ensure higher biomass and product yield. Most modern cell culture processes utilize this fed batch production method. Historically, many media components were derived from animal sources. Regulatory bodies are concerned about animal-derived materials primarily due to virus contamination issues. Thus, the industry has moved toward media compositions that are chemically fully defined and free of animal-derived components. This table shows the evolution of mammalian cell culture media over time. Companies spend considerable efforts during process development to identify a cost-effective composition of a chemically defined media to ensure optimum cell growth and productivity at large production scales. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.